Good afternoon. We're here in Victoria Road on the southern side of Haywards Heath and we're here to look at number 37, which is the semi-detached house you're staring at there. Just so you know where we are, uh, Victoria Road is an old established road, mainly these old 1930s houses. And at the bottom of the road, you've got a more modern cul-de-sac that was built at the end of the 80s by uh, Ryden Homes. And as you go round the corner, these houses are only on the left-hand side. They're all overlooking the woods and that's all protected woodland. So a bit of a wildlife haven around here, lots of foxes and badgers, um, rather lovely. Um, Victoria Road is actually off Eastern Road, so if you're looking in that direction, I'm looking in a northerly direction there, or east, a westerly direction, I'm looking back towards the town centre. You go up there to Western Road, uh, sorry, up to Eastern Road, turn left, end the road, you're on Franklin Road, and uh, there you can turn right and walk down to the town centre. You've got the petrol station with a co-op store around there, or if you turn first left, which is Delney Avenue, that'll take you, at the end of the road, turn left again, that you can walk around to the Princess Royal Hospital. And the other big perk is you're right next door, almost, St Wilfrid's Primary School, which is one of the most popular primary schools in the area. And there's an alleyway just up the road here, or about 100 yards up on the right, that cuts through into the school. So come and have a look. So a lovely old house. The owner has been here about 20 years. Um, she's extended the house to the rear, but you'll see as we have a look around, you've got potential to extend the house a lot further. So uh, come and have a nose. I'll show you around the garden first. So first of all, we've got a driveway here. This has all been redone with one of these resin-based uh, uh, surfaces, really nice. Um, and the front garden, very pretty. This is very much a garden, this house. Um, sad to say it, but if you wanted more parking, you could sacrifice the uh, um, front garden for more parking. But you're in a bit of a header of the road here, so you can always park outside. So you're in an area where there's plenty of parking. And come have a look in the garden. Firstly, as you can see, we've got this really nice side courtyard area. It's all got Cotswold stone, so very much a sun trap. Because um, I think, I'm trying to work out, I think we are north facing at the back, swinging round east and west here. So you can imagine the sun is up there now and we're late in the afternoon. So this is an absolute sun trap. But come and have a look at this garden. Like I say, if you're a gardener, this is the house for you. If you're not a gardener, you're going to have to become one because this is rather special. So beautiful big garden. One thing I'll just show you, you can see we've got the single story extension on the rear. Apologies for looking into the sunshine. But actually, if you look next door, next door has pushed out the back of their house on two stories and actually squared off the back. So this recessed area with this timber deck um, is another room in their house. So there's a lot of potential to make this house a lot bigger. And come have a look down this garden. So the back garden, off the back of the back of the house, off the back of the extension, down to the furthest point is just over 120 feet. Look at this, so you've got lots of, I mean, we're not quite there as far as summertime is concerned, but this really is a beautiful garden. Lots of trees, lots of fruit trees about to come up. Got another seating area down here. I mean, you can literally follow the sun round in a plot like this. Little vegetable plots, productive garden area, and then a little area at the end where you've got a shed and a composting area. And we're backing onto uh, St Wilfrid School playing fields. We're down in the corner of the school fields down here, so it gives you an idea. You'd like to think they will never build on a school playing field, but we live in strange times. If you look from here, you can get an idea of next door and uh, obviously their extension that you could do to this house quite easily. And they've also got very high lofts, so you could probably convert the loft space as well. The gardens of the houses down to our side, they're the ones on Victoria Road. They're all a lot lower because they're on a slope there. So it's nice to have this one, which has got quite a level plot. And then come have a look around inside. Could easily walk in the back door, that's the kitchen door. Remember that, we're going to look through there in a moment. And I'll take you in the side door rather than the front door. So we've got a really useful porch area here. So here's the old entrance porch. And then this is the old outhouse, which has very much been put into better use. Nice big utility room with a loo. Got a new boiler on the wall, that's been replaced. Here's one of the other residents of the household who's in charge. Handy little understairs, hidey hole there. And then I'll quickly show you from, actually we'll go to the back first. So this is the dining room. Now originally this would have been the kitchen come dining room as well. And obviously there are the doors out to that decked area, which I said you could have another room here quite easily. And then the kitchen on the back. So this is a new bigger kitchen, very much a kitchen breakfast room. With a lovely outlook down the garden. Obviously, with a view to the side, looking back, back across, obviously being a bit elevated, looking back to those Victoria Road houses and the woodland beyond. 
So it really is a lovely little leafy area here. Half the world don't even know Victoria Road exists, but it's not far from the town centre. You're literally two minutes walk round to St Wilfrid School. You're 10 minutes up the road to uh, the Princess Royal Hospital. You walk down to the town centre in 10, 15 minutes. However, you've got the, um, I think it's the Texaco petrol station on Franklin Road, which has got a large co-op store. Um, but the town is like 10 minute walk from here. So outlook to the front, it's a nice living room with an open fire, proper open log fire that one. And then come upstairs, let's take my shoes off. Onto the landing, so quite a spacious landing with the loft hatch there. If you ever did do a loft conversion, you could run a staircase up there quite easy. Looking out the side window again, that's looking back towards the Victoria Road houses. So see what I mean? They're very much lower than us. That lovely tree line over back there. And then going round, we've got the bathroom, which has all been revamped. So really lovely bathroom, all been refitted with this super duper shower suite. This is not very old at all. I really do like those tiles. Almost looks like wood, but they are actually ceramic tiles. With one of these big fancy showers over. Next door, back bedroom. I'd say is the second bedroom. Good size, again, overlooking the rear. Get an idea, like I say, when you look out the back here, you get an idea of what the neighbour's done on their extension, so lots of possibilities. Overlooking the garden, and there the school fields over the back. Push that too. It's a built-in double wardrobe in this one. Then next door, you've got the main bedroom at the front. It's a super size room, again, nice and bright and cheerful. Overlooking the road. Again, wardrobe over in that corner. So nice size double bedroom here. And then the little bedroom, by today's standards, you could get a double bed in here if you really wanted to, but a good size, very big single. You've got the stair bulkhead. That white box is actually the top of the stair, stairwell. What a lot of people tend to do with these houses, if it's a children's bedroom, you build a sort of captain's bed over that stairwell, make it make the most use of it. But a good size room there. But there you go, it gives you a pretty good idea. If you're wanting to walk down to the town, like I said, that's about a 10 minute walk. The railway station, according to Google Maps, is 1.4 miles away. So depending on how fast you walk, you might get there in 20 minutes, but truthfully, it's probably a 25 minute walk. But you can walk down through the town centre, there's various shortcuts. But there you go, that's number 37 Victoria Road. I hope that gives you a pretty good idea of what uh, we're talking about. And if you'd like to come and have a look at it, or you'd like to live in a house, with a garden as big and impressive as that, then please give our Hayward Heath office a call. Thank you.